हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू क्रिएटिव मेडिसिन इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल लर्न अबाउट Pager's disease of nipple. Okay. In Pager's disease of nipple, it is actually a chronic eczematous eruption of the nipple. It is a chronic eczematous eruption of nipple. This may become ulcerated, resulting in weeping lesion. So, main important thing which is differentiating Pager's disease of nipple with melanoma, it is differentiated from the melanoma. by the cea positivity okay now histopathology now histopathology of pager's disease of nipple so in the histopathology uh, first the pager cell is important this pager cell is actually a large cell and it is pale staining with it is a large cell pale stain pale staining with a round nuclei and also large nucleoli okay this pager cell will actually spread to the into the lactiferous sinuses it will spread into the lactiferous sinus under the nipple and from the lactiferous sinus it goes into the overlying epidermis of the nipple but one important thing is this pager cell will not invade the basement membrane so if you see this is a pager cell which is present in the uh, nipple in the pager's disease of nipple actually these pager cell are round cell with a large cell with a round nuclei and there is a large nucleoli is present in the center also okay this pager cell which is there first it is it this these are the ducts of the nipple then we have lactiferous sinuses okay so these pager cells will invade the lactiferous sinuses from there it goes to the epidermis of the nipple but it does not invade the basement membrane so this pager disease because it does not invade the basement membrane it is a carcinoma in situ okay clinical features so clinical features of pager's disease of nipple here the most of the patients around more than 97% of the patients have with pager's disease have an underlying breast carcinoma that is underlying ductal carcinoma or uh, it is ductal carcinoma in situ is present in these patients so these pager's disease uh, may be associated with mass it may be associated with a breast mass if invasive cancer is present then in patients with invasive cancer with pager's disease in them almost 93% of these patients will have a mass then diagnosis of pager's disease in the diagnosis of pager's disease of nipple we do a complete mammography and also biopsy is important mainly to re to rule out the multicentric disease to rule out the eccentric occult multicentric disease we have to do a complete uh, mammography is done and also biopsy is also done in the patient on the biopsy you will see presence of these pager cells are seen on the biopsy these pager cells are actually large cells and they are round large cells with pale cells with a uh, round central nucleus they are seen something like this so these pager cells many pager cells are seen in the on biopsy then treatment of pager's disease of nipple in the treatment of pager's disease of nipple mostly in mo most of the cases we can do simple mastectomy is done along with that we can do wide excision of the nipple is done and areola is also excised to achieve the clear margins then 
uh, followed by this we can also do a radiotherapy it is also done with axillary staging is also done in these patients okay then we can also do lumpectomy can be done with radiotherapy and also axillary lymph node dissection is also done in these patients thank you and thank you for watching